My name is Trinity Victoria Baggett. I'm 18 years old and my name is spelled T-R-I-N-I-T-I-I-B-A-G-G-E-T-T. forward to it May 27th is our graduation day and you know it's not so much about the graduation for me but it's really about the journey that I've had here in North Atlanta I remember from the first day of my sophomore year I just felt so comfortable and I felt like I was been I was able to integrate in the North Atlanta culture that I can make my own and leave my mark and I've definitely achieved that so this graduation is more of like a passage of life and going to that next step versus ending a chapter that won't be reopened because it's so much that I've learned here and have had the opportunity to experience. So um, this graduation is definitely going to be a milestone for me that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Um, January 2020 was the day that I took my life back, actually, and I'm a sexual assault survivor. So that experience as far as interacting with my social worker on my case definitely exposed me to the life of social work that I feel passionate about. She was very compassionate and very willing to allow my story to be heard in an authentic way. And I definitely feel like I can be that person for young um, individuals who are special victims, specifically children, because it is very hard to take your life back when you are underage and maybe under the influence of parents or family members or even outside influences that may hinder your ability to prioritize your life. And um, being able to be that person who is professional and capable is something that I know I can be because I have the characteristics to achieve that. It's the Warrior Wire is the best newspaper to exist. Um, at North Atlanta, we have a community of amazing um, staff writers who come up with different stories to tell the stories of others. Um, our priority is to talk to the most highest achieving student, to the person who maybe had just arrived here. Um, we want to tell the stories of all individuals because we are so diverse here. Becoming a leader without being asked is just stepping forward and taking that chance on yourself. A lot of times people can ask you to do things that may not be related to what you're passionate about, but I am passionate about leadership and I know that to be true because I've taken risks by um, tutoring students from world history to math classes and then creating programs throughout the school to um, improve on what I can do individually. So just making change as far as like coming up with ideas that may be already in existence but coming from a student definitely takes it to another level. Well, I would like to go to college. Um, I'm excited for that life because you know high school has definitely taught me a lot but Taking the next step is definitely something I'm looking forward to, maybe some internships as far as the social work pathway, just so I know where exactly I'm going, because I know I want to work with special victims, but I could also be a, a social worker for um, the schools or the prison system. I'm not sure, but I know that whatever it, it will be, I know I would love to do it. Um, after graduation, I actually plan to go to college, and while I'm earning my degree in social work, I would like to start a nonprofit for special victims. Um, this place that I want to create is like a community center for those who have taken their life back or on the journey to, because a lot of the times the fear from speaking up and going to the authorities and telling your story is because you're looking over your shoulder. And I want this community center to be specifically for women, men, and children who can come and speak to authorities and get the resources they need, as well as have a place to live and sleep and also eat until they have um, their case settled. A lot of times we don't know what our life will entail after the fact because of, you know, maybe we depend on other people and I definitely want that place to be a place of refuge. My mom, um, ever since I was two years old, she always said, Mommy and Trinity forever. And what that meant to me is that if I don't have anybody in this world, I have her. And she's always instilled in me self awareness and self acceptance. Being able to be self aware of myself and just talk to myself about the things that I like and why 
I want to achieve certain goals has definitely given me the confidence within myself to um, accept me first before I accept anything else that anybody wants from me. And that in turn has given me the ability to stand out because I know what I am and I know how I want to be perceived in this world. And this is another opportunity to be able to share my story and just impact the world one day at a time.